All right, so now we're in front of the mountain cottage. Um, an interesting note. Let me see. If you look, um, on the back of the case for the game, you can notice that Steiner and the Flying Palace are in the same position here, and you get to see this in the back of the game, and Finn's in his class change at the, at the mountain cottage. It's just a little something to note, a little fun trivia. In any case, we're gonna head inside. We're actually heading inside to the Dragon Cave, so let's do that. Okay, now as you head in, you notice the music changes. Interesting. But of course, the enemies are still here. Okay, we def we ambushed them. That's good. Just to do this, I'm going to use the resist jewel on Percy. Magic damage half. All right, he's in good he's in a good position right now. And then a one shot. Will instantly kill him. Awesome! I don't expect much in XP, but who cares? Alright, so, like I said, the music changes. Go where the dragon was. He's no longer there, but instead there's a key here. Go ahead and search it. Finn, the son of my friend Noy. Finn, the son of my friend Noy. Norton told me to give this key to Finn. When Finn's destiny shakes the world and the contents of the treasure chest become needed, if Finn is mature enough, then give to him this key. To the one born of Marion blood, the peacemaker between the common world and the underworld. Now's the time. Take the key, open the chest, fulfill your father's wish, and go to Quemdar. The skeleton key. Now, it's safe to assume that the person talking was in fact the dragon sleeping here. That's what I'm assuming. In any case, the skeleton key is a very, very powerful item. Remember those chests we came across that we couldn't open? There were four in total. Okay. This key will open all four. But the one chest he's talking about is in here. Chest number one is in here, the dragon key. So we're going to head over there and I'm going to get it to you guys so you can see what's in there. But since these enemies are weak and this is going to get boring, I'll just warp you there. Alright, so we're up here on the top floor of the Dragon Cave. This is the location of the first chest. It is in fact the same chest that's in the house. This house that belonged to Sir Norton and Lady Catherine. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, open this chest up. Well, we might, got, we might want to use the key in here. Alright, and Finn receives the Dragon Blade. Okay, the Dragon Blade is not a key item. It is, in fact, Finn's most powerful weapon. Which gives him an attack strength of 208 and puts him on par with Samson. This is his ultimate weapon. You do not need anything else after this. Finn is, well... This is his ultimate weapon. You do not need any other blade. This is his best. Alright. Now for chest number two. Which I'll take you there right now. Alright guys, so chest number two is located in Simone Village. It's in the Elder Tree, um, north of the village. It's the one that has all those floors where you met with the elders who told you about Zeon. Um, it's not the chest that was locked. It's the door. So, in order to get through it, we just gotta use the, the, um, the skeleton key to open up the door. So, let's go ahead and use that. There we go. It opens up. So, this is just in case. Alright, go ahead and, uh, open up the chest. The tornado vase. That's actually really awesome. As you remember, to tornado for vases equals undai. Level 2, I think, which is fantastic to use. Actually, right, so we're gonna give that to uh, Edward. Cool. Even more powerful spells. Alright. Alright. Now for chests number three and four, which are in the same location. Alright, guys. Um, chests number three and four are both located in Bandor. Now, um, before I before I do anything else, I just wanted to let you know that I uh, brought in Domino 
Lorelei, Lorelei and Tone, so they can get some of the uh, the new equipment that's in um Quemda. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, the first chest is located up here in the in the inn. If you remember, this door was locked. Uh, the door wasn't locked, but this chest here was locked. If we go ahead and um, use the key on it, we uh, get the Mystic Gi. Now the Mystic Gi, I believe, is Lorelei Lorelei's ultimate armor. I would also like to make some. I would also like to make some uh, mention something about Lorelei. She has a weapon, I believe, that's called the Dragon Knuckles. Now the only or the Dragon Claws. See the Dragon Knuckles or the Dragon Claws. Anyway, it's her ultimate weapon. The only way you can get those is if they drop off of red dragons in battle. Kind of reminds you of the Starman Super from Earthbound, where it dropped the only the most powerful weapon and the only weapon who could equip the Sword of Kings. But um, I don't know what the chances of that dropping would be. Kind of hard to tell at this point. I mean, you wouldn't want to have Don you would have want to have Domino and Finn in your party because it seems like they have the highest luck available. Um, but lower lives got shit for luck. All right. In any case, I'm not um, I'm not gonna go ahead and skip the audio on this one. Skip the record. I'm just gonna go straight up. The fourth one is in the castle, so let's head right in. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. All right. So um, it's pretty much it's where it's the um, it's in the dungeon, the cell where Kevin's um Kevin's was next to. All right. Remember, we couldn't get through the gate. Try using the skeleton key this time. Awesome. All right. Now, if you go ahead and search it, you get the reviving herb. All right. These are all four of them. So, 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 you know, we got a total of three reviving hers between Finn, Percy, and uh, I forgot who else have it. Don't have it? I don't know. Okay, in any case, that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna give Finn the, uh, I'm gonna give Edward the music box. That way he has both the world map and the music box. It's kind of kick ass. Alright, guys, um, let me, um,. Just for the sake of it, let me get Domino, Lorelei, Lorelei, and Tone equipped with some extra power, and uh, let me get you guys over to uh, Quemdot to do that. Don't worry, you don't have to go through the cave again. Uh, you can just use the light all to teleport there, so be right back. Alright, my apologies, guys. Um, we're back in Mistral, but the reason being is, is I forgot to get something the first time I went through here, and I didn't even realize it when I went to get Perseus' new equipment. In any case... Um, to the right of, to the, um, north right of the, um, the northeast of the, um, weapon shop, there's that bridge, at least to the single island where the kid is. See, yeah, blah, 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 Yeah. Search this bush, and give yourself an ice ring. Now, the ice ring raises defense like the fire ring, and allows the user to cast ice level magic. Um, I'm gonna give it to Finn, actually. Being our strongest player. Okay, now let me get these guys to Quendal so they can get some new gear. All right, we're back in Quendal. Let's go on in. All right, let's see what they got. All right, Lorelai's got the the um the dragon gi, which she doesn't need. And certainly Domino does not need the, um, the Mithril Dagger. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we can buy. Alright, Domino's got the Mystic Dagger, Lorelai's got the Mythic Mystic Knuckles. Domino's got an upgrade in terms of the Orth Bandana and the Captain's Leather, so let's go ahead and give it to that. Give him that. And let's give um, Lorele the power scarf. And let's go ahead and give 
Ooh, Edward can actually get a. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I was, I was looking at that the wrong way. Alright, that's everything. Alright, let me, um. Let me, uh, re equip the team. Um, at this point, you're ready to go. Uh, you can train a little bit if you want, but we're near the end anyway, so. Um, decide who you want to, uh, who you want to bring in with you and then just stock them up with items. Uh, I'm not bringing in Lorelei, Domino, or Tone, but I wanted to equip them just in case I decide to in the, you know, after a second thought. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to unequip the Tempest Ring off of Lorelei, and I'm going to go ahead and give that to Edward. Ooh, I can't get Edward. Change the temperature ring with um with the uh, healing herb. Oh, you can you can exchange items. So that's actually helpful. All right. Um, Domino has a tornado scroll and the the uh, light vase. I'll give um the wind vase to Hifin. And let's give him the uh, tornado scroll. Let's give somebody the tornado scroll. All right. And last but not least. Um, the reviving herb. We're gonna need that. Let's see. Um, we'll just exchange the skeleton key with it because we don't need it now. All right. Um. I'll, t uh, I'll come back right to this spot, but I'll have my team ready to go. So, be right back, guys. Alright, so here's, here I am again, back in my same spot, but I have my team. My final team will consist of Finn, Samson, Annie, Edward, and Percy. The original five. Figured it would make it a hell of a lot easier. Plus, I actually like Percy. He's badass. Alright, so what we're going to do first is this. Um, We're going to give Annie... This Angel's Ocarina, because we need to make room for this, which is what he's going to give. I'm going to give Percy the Tempest Ring. This will up his speed to 29. Alright. Not as fast as everybody else. He's still slower than Samson, but we're hoping to rectify that. We're hoping a few levels of training will actually do well, too. Alright, we're also going to give... We'll switch Percy's... Um, he's actually got a reviving herb. We'll switch a mage potion with the reviving herb. We'll have Finn keep the other mage potion. We'll give Edward the other wind vase. We'll actually give Finn the dragon card. He's used to fire. Alright. Ah, uh, Samson could actually use a little bit of, um... Um, he does not mind giving up some spaces. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give him... I've got one reviving herb. First, he's got two. I'm going to give one to Samson. This is just... I'm not giving any to Annie because she's got Resurrect, level one. Alright, and I'm going to switch out one of her mage potions with a mage jewel. Okay. Actually, I'm going to switch out... And Samson's got the other mage jewel, so I'll give that to Edward and exchange. No, I won't even exchange him. All right, let's give. Let's give Samson a healing potion. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, all right, and now for final formation, it'll be Finn. Um. Actually, pretty much safe to say we can put Edward has high, has the same amount of defense as Annie does. So we can put Ed, Finn, Edward, and Samson in the back, and Annie and Percy. I mean, uh, Finn, Edward, and Samson in the front, and Annie and Percy right in the back. So that looks good. All right, we're good to go. We're about to move out. Um, we're gonna follow the path out of Quemda and uh, see if we can find an opening to the underworld. Or at least a border to it, anyway. Okay. So from here, we're gonna follow the path around this way. 
you pretty much get a mix of terrains here. Alright, we got two red dragons and an undead knight. Um, if you did everything right, or if you follow, you know, pretty much the way I did it, everybody here should have had at least the effect of a resist jewel or a resist orb. Alright, let me deal with these guys quickly. They're rapeable. You know, it feels good to have everybody together. Alright, um, I think I've got... I got one Angel's Ocarina. Do I have another one? I thought it's one I did. Alright, that's fine. Alright, save some time and money. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh good, it hasn't cracked yet. That's a good thing. Alright. Save MP along the road. Alright, um... A little bit of a maze here, not too bad. Two demons! Oh yeah, we're gonna fuck them up. They be bitches. And with that, Edward reaches level 10. Awesome fucking sauce. Gets a little bit of everything. Extra speed, I love it. What's up for the speed at? 43, he's like... That's great right there. Alright. Mountainside, pain in the ass, but at least we get a free little bit of experience where he had to level up, um... Percy anyway. Alright, Demon's Pet and a Demon. How ironic. Alright, remember, Demon's Pet are uh, a lot faster. Way fucking faster, so take them out first. And Annie joins the fray at level 10. All oh, fan fucking cast sauce. Let's see. Um, okay, I can deal with that stats. She learns Heal Rain level 3. Fantastic. Alright, now if I'm correct, Heal Rain level 3 heals 60 vitality points? I believe I have to check again, but I believe that's what it is. All right, so we're gonna let me see. How much does it cast? How much does it cost to cast? Nineteen. I hate to see level four. Um. Wow, she only needs to learn heal rain level four, and I think she's done. Pure healing. All right, let's uh. How's the uh, how's everybody doing? Let's see. Sam's is about to level up, and Percy will level up soon. Alright, cool. He needs the extra defense. Alright, so let's go on ahead. We're gonna keep crossing around. Sidewinding a little bit. Two red dragons and two undead lectors. Shit, it'll only target one, huh? Well, you know what? You know what? There's a reason why we have the MP for it. Let's just vape them. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Finn calls for Steiner. From above a mountain, he can't freaking reach. Not bad. Edward, turn the tide. Well, we know when, when, we know dragons are weak against ice. That's interesting. And Sansa reaches level 10. Yeah! I love that strength. I didn't say that. Well, maybe I did. Anyway, moving on. That battle alone is going to push... The next battle will push Percy over to level 4. Two more undead lectors and another red dragon. A little bit easier this time. Lectors first. And Percy levels up to level 4 at long last. A level by Percy. That's it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. He can use the extra strength. All right, moving on anyway. Okay, so we cross over this bridge and that bridge. Ah, what do we got now? Undead knights, baby dicks. All right, so we're gonna cross over and enter here. Okay, talk to these two guys. In Quemdaw, there is a path link in the common world and the underworld. The path is known as the Abyss. To prevent the two worlds from interacting, the agreement provides for two gods to protect the path. One god is selected from each world. The god of the common world was chosen from Awan's four followers. Marion's bloodline, which had the greatest potential, was assigned to this task, which we've pretty much known as the Great, the, the great Light is Finn. Okay, guys, um, this is where I'm going to cut it. Here's the reason why. This is the last dungeon in the game. This is the Shrine of the Abyss. And as you can tell by the statues, there's one light and one dark statue. But these are the Guardians. This is talking about representing the Guardians. Alright, but anyway, coming up on the next episode, guys, we're gonna go through 
the Shrine of the Abyss dungeon. It's long, difficult, and tricky. Plus, the enemies are at the toughest. So, um, if you really want to train your guys, this is the place to do it. And trust me, I'm going to give Percy that, um, that privilege. But, uh, this is going to get really, 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 really hectic. Like, immensely. Um, but I'm trying to, I mean, we're at the end here. There is no need for us to do anything else. We've done everything in this game. This is the end here. All right. Sucks that we're coming up to the end so quickly. But we still have a little bit more to do, and it's going to get exciting. Anyway, this is Fan of RVB. I'm going to see you guys later.